Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom MLB 12 The Show cover. So, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the MLB 12 The Show uh, template, cover template, which will be there will be a link to that in the description. And uh, if you can, uh, it would be cool if you guys could get these Topaz Labs, which I'll put the link in the description for a uh, tutorial on how to download those for free. Um, so, I'll put those two links in the description, and I'm also going to put a link in the description for a video by VA Baseball X13. Um, cause, uh, he's the one who basically showed me how to do this, um, and, uh, using his video, so I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a very similar tutorial, but I'm gonna show you guys what I like to do and how I like to differ from his, so, but I will definitely recommend checking out, uh, that video as well. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take a PNG file of Pedro Martinez, so you're gonna notice that there is no background, which is nice, um, which is what you get when you download a PNG file. Now, if you can't find a PNG of whatever player you feel like doing, you can customly cut out uh, Pedro Martinez, or whatever player you decide to do, and put him, um, make it like this, but constantly cutting out the, uh, the background, it's a little bit tough, and it might make your picture a little bit sloppy, so for the sake of this one, we're just gonna use this, so we're gonna drag him into the templates, nice and big file, and also I forgot to do one thing, you're gonna want to, for me, I like to move the PS3 move top over the regular top, because that's what my game cover looks like, and then we're going to move, we're going to put Pedro Martinez right in the middle. Oop, did not mean to do that. I did move just like this. Alright, so we're going to control T, shift, so that you do not disproportion the photo. Make sure you hold down shift while you do this part. And actually, we want Pedro to be on top of the move cover, so that it looks like that. Alright, so, looks like a good side of shrink him just a little bit. A little bit more. Right, right like that. Let's say. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that. All right, so we have the Pedro Martinez cutout, and then we're going to take a picture of Citizens Bank Ballpark. Now you can either take a ballpark or a picture of a crowd, um, which is what VA Baseball X13 does in this video. So if you want to do that, you can do that. But I like to do this sometimes. So I take the lasso tool, and I'm basically just gonna cut half of this. Hit layer via copy. Let's select this, and then I can drag this into the templates. Boom. I know it should not, uh, it really won't matter that it's a little small. So we're going to control T, shift again. Drag this all the way to the bottom so that it gets to the bottom on the left side. We're going to put this right in between the two layers, in, the, in between the two uh, tops, just like that. And then we're going to hit, we're going to use the eraser tool. Get the block eraser, and we're just going to erase everything to the right side of Pedro Martinez's body, which is what I like to do. Now, it's personal preference. If you want a little bit on the right side, you can do it uh, You can do it like that, but this is what I prefer to do. Now, erasing this will take uh, just like 45 seconds, so you're going to bear with me here. But uh, This is pretty much what the cover is going to look like, and then I'm going to show you guys a few effects that I like to give to some of the parts of this template. But can't do that until I erase all of this. Come on. And we're gonna erase everything um, to the right of his front leg. And if you guys want to know why I'm doing Pedro Martinez, because I grew up as a big Red Sox fan, and at the time when I was growing up, Pedro Martinez, well, I don't know, he had his best seasons in, I would say, 1993 and 2003, but, um, I started following baseball in 2002, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a big statistician like I am today, so I really didn't know Pedro too well um, until he kind of wound down in his career. But because 2004 was not his best year, even though the Sox won the World Series that year. But that's besides the point. So now we basically have what the cover's gonna look like. So we're just gonna add a few details. So select the Pedro Martinez detail. Now what I like to do is I like to go to artistic, and there's a few ones I like to do, but for this one we're gonna do poster edges. So you can see it gives it a nice little effect and it looks really nice like that. And then we're going to give him a bit of a uh, brightness and contrast adjustment. So let's say we go with uh, 14. Looks good. Contrast. I really like to contrast these photos. You can see that looks good right there. So we'll do like 96. Looks good. And now we can um, do a... Uh, what am I saying? What am I trying to say? Uh, we're going to do a... Uh, filter for a couple things. We're gonna use a topaz filter that I like to do. It's a custom one that I copied from VA Baseball X13. Like I said, his video will be in the description. 
So after it generates the little thumbnail thing, I'm trying to uh, rush this video a little bit so that it's not too long. We're gonna have this cover uh, uh, preset. It's here. The settings I like to use. You can pause the video and copy them. These are the settings I use for this uh, preset. We're gonna OK, and then we're gonna just go to number one sports games, and it will save that. Um, so it'll be the top thing right here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it for the PSN logo and the SCEA logo. And then we're gonna go to the seams and we're gonna add that folder that we did before the artistic poster edges one. So add that and do the same filter poster edges. Like I said, it saves the last one you do. So I like the effects that I've given this. But uh, you're going to notice there's like some smudges, a white smudge here, uh, kind of a gray smudge around the PSN logo and the number one sports game. So we're going to go to the eraser tool. We're going to hit uh, magic eraser. Now we're going to go to the seams main. So there's not really anyone, not any smudges noticeable on the main seams, but on the side seams there is. Simply hit that and it's gone. Go to number one sports game. Gone. Gone. And uh, MLB 12 to show. Boom, that smudge is gone. Go to PSN logo. That's gone. And SEEA logo. Just like that, it is gone. And now I do notice one thing. I'm gonna do the eraser tool and select the layer. I missed one part right here. So yeah, just be sure to double check and make sure you erase all parts of the uh, the second layer that we have. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you in any way, I would uh, love it if you could thumbs up the video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, as in like Madden 13 or NCAA 13 covers, um, then let me know in the comments below and I'll do more of these. But that's pretty much it, guys. So like I said, if this helped you in any way or if you enjoyed, it would be uh, much appreciated if you could thumbs up the video. And uh, that's about it. So thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.